Hello everyone, this is Phil Buster Fox taking a look at Space Chem, uh, the newest addition to the Frozen uh, Synapse Humble Bundle uh, from the Humble Indie Bundle people at HumbleBundle.com. This is the third game added to the bundle, not including the collection that you get if you pay over the average. So uh, it is now Frozen Synapse, Trauma, and Space Chem. Space Chem is a puzzle game where you play with molecules, chemically. Uh, that's about all I know about it, so let's have a quick look. Now, I'm sorry for the lag bars on this video. Once again, this does not have a uh, resolution option. I can't change the aspect ratio. So we will go ahead and go ahead. Also, it has a 12 character limit for the name, so I couldn't quite get in the 13 character filibuster fox. So I took off the er, put in a dash, so filibuster fox. So if you see this, it is my scores. Yes. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start the game with an external video brief introduction. We're going to skip that because external videos probably will not work, so we will go ahead right into of pancakes and spaceships. Oh yeah. Alright, so training. Alright, so this is based in chemistry and it's a kind of nerdy game, so Let, let's do it. Alright, so that square needs an NA. How do I do that? NA, there we go. It's also got QWERTY keys there. Now you look at the interface. Appears to be a little molecule there, there. Grab drop. There we go. Redirects the molecule to move to a new direction. Because I hold it and click. Start the reactor. Hit play. Okay, so my molecule picks up some oxygen there. It rotates there. Deep. Comes back around. Drops it and outputs it. Okay, so I'm simply moving oxygen to this other thing. Okay, we'll speed this up. Alright, cool. Just had to do 10 of that. I right, just used one, simply used nine. Record solution. Okay, well, apparently it automatically records in fraps. There we go. Okay, continue. That's kind of cool. Or not fraps, but uh, for YouTube. Slightly different. Atoms are the building blocks of all matter. Oh, some education in this game, too. Molecules are joined atoms. Alright, so these are some molecules. These molecules are all the same. 2H, 2C, bonded at the C's. These molecules are all different. Yeah, okay, there we go. Use the blue waddle, waddle, <laughs> waldo, which behaves identically to the red waldo, but only executes blue instructions. Okay. Tab switches between that. I need an NB. Alright, grab drop. Uh, oh no, it's still giving me instructions. Okay, uh, okay, one hydrogen. Okay, cool. So I'm moving two hydrogen over there. Alright, so simply, uh, F out. Grab drop. Play. Nope. Nope. Not quite right. You move it further. Stop. There we go. Play. Grab it. Drop it. Done. Okay. Oh, and then I need to loop it back. Okay. Uh, stop. That's right. There we go. Do. Do 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 do. 
Alright. Our performance compared to other engineers has followed. Lab cycles, reactors used. Okay, so I guess this is going to matter after I start getting into more advanced stuff. Crossover. Okay, so AU, gold and platinum are going to opposite things. Okay, well that's easy enough. What I will do is I will start with blue. Do this. There we go. Grab drop. Grab drop. In B. Nope, wrong. Delete. Okay, delete, delete. Alright, I will grab drop. And grab drop there. Input. Alright, so this, does it do what I want? Oh, right, okay. Uh... I need in. There we go. That actually has to uh, create it. Alright, so I need that over a little. Right, and the grab drop goes up one and over one. There we go. Stop. So I need that. I need that. Oh, out. Wait, no, no, no. F. Just get rid of that. Just get rid of that. There we go. That is what I need to do. Invalid. Oh, I'm uh, sending them to the wrong one. Okay. Uh, right. Got to switch them. Okay. Uh, does this work? Reaction error. Collisions aren't allowed. Okay. I am not allowed to collide. This should delay enough. Ooh, that's close. Set. Right. Oh, no. It, it eventually collided. Okay, so I need to actually, no, not extend that, I need to extend. All right, so if I do this, that should have it go perfectly in sync, permanently. There we go. Perfect, okay. Yay. All right, everyone, this is Space Chem. I'm going to look at this next one here and uh, maybe skip a few and uh, show you a little more advanced stuff. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead. I'll uh, we'll see you in a moment. All right, everyone, I went a few levels more advanced, and here's what I have to do here. I have to turn this one oxygen into two oxygen. O to O2, dioxide. Alright, so what I need to do is I need to use these bonders and blue to make things happen. So what's going to happen here is, well, let's see what I can do. So in A, there, we'll uh, spawn it there so I can pick it up. And then that output. 
how shall I do this? Well, let's see. I will do that and then... Sync. All right, so what I'm gonna have this do is go all the way up there. Grab. All right, and then sync after it's left. Well, I guess it can wait there. It'll save time. All right, so this will come out, spawn it. This will come out, grab it. I want this to grab it when it does eventually come. You can right click for more options like grab there, that sort of thing. All right, so this will come out, go grab that, sync there. This will come out, sync there, wait, and then go after the syncing. Let's see, that can go there. Oh, it needs to, uh, needs to spawn another one. There we go. That's where I'll do it, right before it goes and grabs it. It'll spawn in a new one. That should work. Okay, and then, uh, they'll come around here. I'll need another sink. Yes, okay, the next sink will be there. This will drop there and move on back. All right, so it'll leave its oxygen here. This one will come through and uh, bond here. Ooh, wrong color, delete tab. Okay, it'll bond that there. Ooh, and it needs a double bond, so I guess like that, since it needs to have two bondings. All right, we'll link that around. Uh, it'll be like that, so we'll drop it. Nope, no, not bond. Uh, drop, there we go, and then output. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a test run, see how it works. Alright, so it comes around, sinks there, lets that go, lets it get its oxygen, drops it off. There we go. Drops it, and outputs perfect. Perfect execution, we can speed this up. And it'll go just fine. There we go, a little more advanced here, we got some bonding and stuff like that. Super fast forward. Alright, awesome. What's, what's the next one involve? Alright. Oh, what's... Story, ooh. There was story. Okay, well, I totally didn't notice the story before. <laughs> okay, and the train, same bond progression there. All right, so this time I have to do nitrogen to nitrogen with three bondings here. So I'm actually gonna have to do a little loop like this, I suppose. Wait, no, that won't work. Okay, I, I get it. Yeah, let's just delete all this. Uh, I don't really know how I'll do this, but I'd be able to figure it out over time. And that's the beauty of this game. It's a good puzzle game. I am enjoying this. Uh, so it's even better reason to support these charities and pick up the Hummel Indie Bundle, the Frozen Synapse one, if you have not already. It is up to eight games, I believe now. Uh, some better than others, but this is a good addition to it. And if you are on the border and like the look of this, well, hopefully this will be enough reason to get you into the Humble Indie Bundle. All right, guys, this is Phil Buster Fox taking a look at Space Chem, a little chemistry puzzle game. If you did enjoy this, please subscribe to the channel, and uh, I will continue to update the Humble Bundle as they add more games if they continue to. As of this posting, there is still one week left to go to get this, so you are running out of time. One week left to take advantage of this Name Your Price offer for charities. Everyone have a great day, and I will see you next time.